I avoid three foods and don't get old. Barbara Taylor Bradford, 90, still looks 59. Barbara Taylor Bradford was born in 1933, but she emits a timeless brilliance, remaining beautiful while gracefully aging. At the age of 90, Barbara Taylor Bradford, a cherished British-American novelist, is still captivating readers. She gave the world the legendary first book A Woman of Substance in 1979. This was only the start of her incredible adventurous journey, she has now written an unbelievable 39 novels, each of which has become a huge success. Then she released In the Lion's Den in 2020. A Man of Honor was released in 2021, which is another testament to her unwavering innovation and enthusiasm. She sticks to her writing schedule with unbending determination, continuing to motivate readers all across the world. There is a small reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly uploaded videos. Let's get started. Barbara approaches life with the enthusiasm of a youngster. So how does she keep her gorgeous peaches and cream look? Her secret is about taking good care of herself. She discusses her top 5 foods, 3 that she tries to limit, and 5 tips for staying young. So, let's take some time to adopt at least some of those habits in our lives. Number 1. Exercise. Regarding exercise, I purchased a book by a doctor called Get Up which terrified me because it claimed that sitting down was extremely terrible for you. She further explained that she takes daily walks and eats her lunch while standing. Every hour while she is working, she takes a break and goes for a walk around the neighborhood. Long durations of sitting are thought to slow the metabolism, resulting in an impact on the body's capacity to control blood pressure, blood sugar, and the decomposition of body fat. Number 2. Enough Sleep Barbara is a strong proponent of sleep. She normally goes to bed between 10 and 11 p.m. She will be awake at 6 a.m. the next day if she is working on a book. It will be closer to 7 a.m. if she is not writing. She recognizes the value of self-care and takes a quick break at lunch before resuming her writing activities and focusing on them until 4 p.m. For cognitive performance and memory consolidation, including emotional health, quality sleep becomes essential. Seniors who get a good night's sleep have the chance for their bodies to mend and replenish, allowing them to wake up feeling renewed and prepared to take on the day. Number 3. Food that she consumes. Barbara has always eaten cautiously. Since she mostly sits down to work, she needs to exercise self-control when it comes to her diet. She doesn't eat a lot, which is a good thing. Here are our top 5 picks for nourishing her brain. Coffee. Barbara starts her day with a cup of coffee. Green tea and cocoa are proven to be less effective sources of antioxidants than coffee. These antioxidants eliminate free radicals that harm cells and may lower the chance of developing several diseases, including cancer, macular degeneration, as well as heart disease. Your body releases specific hormones when you drink coffee, which helps to combat fatigue and boost energy levels. Fruits of the Season Barbara admitted that if she isn't careful, it is simple for her to gain weight quickly. She likes to snack on fresh fruit throughout the day, especially when strawberries, blueberries, and cherries are in season. She also eats bananas or apples. Steam-cooked green veggies. She serves her fish with steamed green vegetables as a delicious side dish. When cooking meals, it's best to keep liquid, temperature, and cooking time to a minimum. As a result, Barbara agrees that steaming is one of the best methods for preparing vegetables. Fish. Barbara's favorite type of protein is fish. She enjoys preparing a wide variety of fresh fish, including plaice, sea bass, haddock, and cod. These whitefish variants have extremely high quantities of protein and remarkably low levels of fat. They provide treatment for illnesses including asthma and arthritis thanks to their high vitamin B6 content, which reduces body inflammation. Whitefish is rich in vitamin B3, which strengthens the immune system and speeds up the healing process after infections. Barbara enjoys the vital vitamin B12 that whitefish, which is offered in abundance, provides, supporting strong blood cells and a healthy nervous system. There are many more benefits to the consumption of whitefish. She uses healthier fish preparation techniques like baking or staying with only a little butter to preserve a wholesome dinner while letting the flavors bloom. Lamb. Despite not being a big fan of red meat, there is one exception throughout the winter. 
She prepares the meat in accordance with her mother's recipe by utilizing shoulder and neck cuts from the butcher, rolling it in flour, and sautéing it to deepen the flavor. Lamb may not be commonly consumed due to its high saturated fat content, but this red meat has critical vitamins and minerals like iron, zinc, and vitamin B12. Barbara enhances her lamb stew with chicken broth from the same butcher. She improves the nutritional and flavor profile of the chicken broth by including carrots, onion, and a bouquet garni. This golden liquid makes a substantial soup or stew base. Enjoying soup in the winter is a fantastic way to stay warm, cut calories, and keep up a healthy diet. Let's quickly discuss the food she tries to stay away from. We've already mentioned that she abstains from desserts. She greatly lowers her risk of developing many health issues such as type 2 diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular disease, chronic inflammation, obesity, and early aging by abstaining from sugary foods. Second, she is conscious of how much salt she consumes and chooses to completely forego it when eating at home. Over time, consuming a lot of salt can cause blood pressure to rise, which raises your chance of having a heart attack or stroke. Last but not least, she consumes fewer carbohydrates, such as potatoes. Potatoes and all complex carbon can be beneficial to your health. A good low-carb diet may aid in controlling weight, which can then benefit the body. She enjoys the occasional glass of champagne but doesn't tend to drink excessively. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Let's meet again with another interesting video.